Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Mark Tennant and I help plastic surgeons like you make more money. The title of my webinar today is How to Attract Patients to Your Practice That Want to Hire You Before You Even Meet. Well, we've got a lot to go through over the next 25 minutes and a lot of webinars I realize that you've probably been to in the past are filled with a lot of preamble and so forth. We're not going to do that at all today. We've got a lot of material to cover. Stay with us and we're going to get started on it right now. So, who is this webinar for? It's for plastic surgery practices that have little to no trouble connecting with prospects and turning them into patients when they come in to see you at your office. But where you're struggling is getting them in the door and you have no proven online strategy that keeps them coming back. Who is this webinar not for? Well, it's for practices who care more about the money rather than a unique online experience and the results they create for their patients. And over the next 20 minutes or so, I'm going to show you how to turn your website from a giant expense into the biggest revenue generator in your practice. How to stop using discounts as your only means to get clients in the door. How to focus your practice on the procedures you're best at to increase your revenue, patient lifetime value, and the patient experience. What to put on your website that will have patients loving you and wanting to hire you before they've ever met you, and how to show up online with the same warmth and expertise that you convey when you speak with your patients one-on-one. -on -one. Basically, I'm going to show you how to take your online presence and take it from a revenue incinerator to a revenue generator, your largest revenue generator, by leveraging technology establishing relationships and creating emotional connections so patients will find your practice even while you sleep. Stay with me for the webinar because there's going to be a lot of information and we're going to share with you today that you've never heard before and you don't even have to take notes. We'll do that for you and if you stay till the end I'll send you a summary and a little something else. Does this sound familiar? You keep hiring these slick advertising types who keep talking about their latest revenue generating software and their algorithm and its lead generation capabilities. You're going from agency to agency, website to website, and campaign to campaign. You're hemorrhaging money, but they're all the same and nothing changes. You don't really like the agencies you've been hiring and the return on investment just isn't there either. You spend a fortune on your website and it sits there and practically does nothing. You've hired expensive consultants and nothing has happened. You know that lesser talented surgeons are making a lot more money than you and you're resentful. And this I hear really often. You're fixing their botched procedures and you're wondering what's up. You wonder why is that other doctor who's not doing the caliber of work I'm doing making all the money. You don't know where your clients are coming from and that means you don't know how to get more of them through the door. And the number of patients you have feels outside of your control. Coming up, I'm going to tell you how to fix all of this. Now you're probably wondering, who's this Mark Tennant guy that says he can help me? Well, my name is Mark Tennant and I help plastic surgeons like you make more money. And I got into this business a bit by accident. I was a DJ on the radio for about 10 years and what I was doing during that time was creating emotional connections with my audience. They loved it, I loved doing it. And then finally, I moved into the information technology business. Worked there for about 10 years for a major insurance company based here in Ohio, who you've probably heard of. And also, I worked for a very prestigious medical school. And what I was able to do was I was able to take the two, understanding the medical industry, leveraging the technology, and create a process and a program that helps plastic surgeons and their practices. Through my work at the medical school, I came to understand the importance of patient relationships how crucial and how powerful establishing emotional connections can be, and how leveraging video and online technology can help plastic surgeons. And by incorporating technology and the plastic surgeon's unique expertise, we were able to create real patient relationships online with people the plastic surgeon had never met in person, yet they came to know him, they came to like him, and they came to trust him. So one day an acquaintance called and he said, hey Mark, can you help this plastic surgeon I'm working with? His online marketing is a mess. He's hired this agency that's charging him a lot of money and not really doing anything. The value that they're adding to the patients is pretty much nil. What they're doing just isn't working. Can you come in and help? And I said, sure. So I went into the office, met the physician, we shook hands, and the first thing he says to me after shaking hands is, great, now I've got to teach you plastic surgery. 
Well, I understood his frustration because he had been through agency after agency, website after website, marketing campaign to marketing campaign, and he was frustrated. I get it. And when I took a look at what his current agency was doing, I really understood his frustration. Essentially, their plan was to buy some online ads, put a social media post up here and up there, and really count clicks and count number of phone calls to the office. That's all they did for him. They weren't adding value at all to the patients, weren't inspiring anybody to connect with this physician online. So essentially what they were saying was online, come buy from me, come to my practice. Nobody warmed to that, would you? Think about this, all of those ads, all of those agencies, that money was essentially wasted and it was killing his practice. You know, online, when you treat people in a transactional, self-serving way, it creates a residue that just doesn't sit well with people and it has them moving away from your website and towards your competitor's website. I see it happen and it's all too common. There's no other medical specialty where the ties between the patient and the physician are so important because most of the procedures, they're elective. Unlike when you get into a bad car accident and you're in the emergency room, you don't have a choice of that surgeon who is going to save your life. You just have to go with it. With plastic surgery, it is just the opposite because you have to know, you have to like, and you have to trust that surgeon. And you do have a choice. So fast forward, I was able to help this plastic surgeon with his online presence, turning it from a revenue incinerator into a revenue generator by leveraging technology infusing his unique personal brand and creating emotional connections with his patients. This is what creates loving and loyal patients, not some miracle piece of software or algorithm that someone has figured out. I remember one day when I stopped by the office, the patient coordinator of his was walking down the hall. Actually, she was halfway running down the hall to another appointment. And I said to her, what's going on? And she says, oh my gosh, it's blowing up as she scurried away to that appointment. By the way, the plastic surgeon he had to hire another patient coordinator to handle the patient traffic. So his practice was blowing up in a really, really good way. And I remember another time shortly after that, walking into the office and I saw the doctor and he said, hey Mark, come on into this office, I wanna show you something. So we walk into this office and on this big desk sat about 15 breast augmentation procedures, the supplies for those to be performed the following week. And that was only one procedure. Picture the scene. Now, in the beginning, this plastic surgeon, he was spending a lot of money with his agency and a lot of money on traditional advertising and online marketing that simply did not work. Next, here walks into this room, me, the marketer, really suspicious of me. Remember what he said to me? He had to teach me plastic surgery. But through time and our work together, we've done pretty well. And I remember after one of our Instagram and Facebook Live events, we started a tradition, and that was to toast a glass of scotch and toast to his successes, talk about how much fun it was to get there. And I was so proud of him because what we were doing at that point, we were witnessing what we had set out to do. I wanted the patients to love him and they did. The testimonials were fantastic. People couldn't wait to tell their story. The referrals went up, especially the enthusiastic referrals. And the lifetime value of his patients organically began to do this. Why? Well, because of this relationship-based strategy we employed. It made the doctor look human, it made him look vulnerable and accessible. And just like in person, online, people were now seeing him as a human, as a friend, and somebody they wanted to keep coming back to again and again. At that point, I realized taking this relationship-based strategy and employing it is highly replicable. I can do this for any plastic surgeon and I could do it for you. So now I'm a consultant to plastic surgeons who wanna grow their practices through a relationship-oriented engagement process that has people loving you and wanting to hire you before they book their consult. Now, leveraging technology I've come to find out and marrying that with emotional connection, it doesn't come easy for some, but for those that are doing it well, they're enjoying massive success. Their online marketing experiences differ greatly than those who are doing it wrong. So I can tell you there are five fundamental shifts your practice needs to make to go from online marketing pain to online marketing profitability. Now, I'm gonna tell you what those five shifts are here in just a second, but essentially it's replicating what you do in the office online, what you do in person, what you do in a pre-op, post-op, follow-up, consult, everything, the entire patient experience. 
And when you take those processes and replicate those online that make you, well, you, I promise you, your practice will thrive and it will flourish. So here they are, the five shifts. Make these and people will want to hire you before you ever meet. Shift number one, stop talking about yourself and shift your focus on the patient. Now, I study plastic surgery websites and I view them with great intensity, dozens every week. I pore over them. As a matter of fact, I've may have been on your website at some point. And the most important thing that I can tell you is that what you're doing on your website, you would never do in person. You would do the opposite. And the biggest problem is talking about yourself on your website rather than helping your patient. I know it's not intentional, but that's just the way it comes off to someone who visits your site. You would never walk into a consult spouting about all your degrees, your board certifications, your patents, the products you've invented, and the awards you received. And you wouldn't do it in person because it doesn't work, and you know that. So what would you do instead? Well, you would offer valuable insight and information that shows the person why you're the plastic surgeon that they should hire. Shift number two, never leer at women. I've worked with and have met many plastic surgeons who are wonderful, caring, and affectionate people and terrific physicians. They're extremely professional in person with their female patients, but something crazy happens online. It's like shift number one, it's never on purpose, but practices are posting leering photos that reek of male gaze. Male gaze, it's depicting women as sexual objects for the pleasure of the male viewer. Now, there are so many examples online, numerous examples, and these are just some of the subtle ones. Again, like shift number one, it's never on purpose. It's critical that you show up online exactly the same way you would in person. And it's crucial that patients know, like, and trust you. And you are a champion of women because you know physicians who leer at women, even inadvertently, repel them. And those who celebrate and champion women attract them. Shift number three, differentiating versus discounting. Now, imagine walking into a consult with a patient and announcing, hey, great news, we have a sale on nose jobs. <laughs> you would never do this. Instead, what would you do? Well, the patient who was interested in rhinoplasty would hear from you about your approach, how you're different than other plastic surgeons, and why you are the best at it. This is what you do in your office, so it's also what you should be doing online, and there's no better time to start. Listen, you can explain something in a one-on-one -on -one environment only so many times in a day, but if you explain it once online, exactly as you would in a patient consult, your audience can view it over and over, anytime, from any device, including on their big screen, internet-ready TVs. This is where you differentiate yourself from your competitors, and this is when the patient decides to hire you. Shift number four, light up online. Sometimes you get lucky. A patient shows up in your office with a particular problem that you are uniquely qualified to solve and you love to solve. Then what happens? Well, you light up. You explain your unique approach. You explain you've done hundreds of these procedures before and you talk about how your experience has shaped and formed your expertise and things you used to do before and what you've discovered works better now. These patients are going to hire you every single time. You want to use this exact approach of lighting up in every single online communication, so here's what you need to know about communicating online. You don't have to wait for the right person to come into your office and ask you about your favorite procedure. This means that every single time, you can and must have that conversation that makes you light up. Don't talk about the mundane procedures that don't inspire you and the ones that you're maybe not especially good at. Online, discuss the procedures that light you up and inspire you. This is different, yes, but people will be beating a path to your door because what is everybody else doing? Well, they're offering every procedure under the sun with no clear indication of what they do best. This doesn't work because everyone wants to hire the expert. No one wants the doctor who does five other procedures really well, and their procedure isn't one of them. Shift number five. Put patients at ease with simple explanations. In person, you would never hand your patient a textbook or a medical journal and say, here, read this. This explains it all. <laughs> what would you do instead? Well, you would do the explaining. They would feel at ease and comfortable to proceed. Successful plastic surgeons do the same thing online. They show up in video, 
offering simple explanations that put their patients at ease. Struggling plastic surgeons, hey, they do the opposite. Their websites and other online materials are confusing. They're filled with jargon and technical information that, heck, maybe other medical professionals might not even understand, let alone the patient. Imagine taking your terrific persona that you use every day in the office and translating that online to your website so that your website visitors can also get to know you, get to like you, and get to trust you before they even book their consult. And I can tell you, using technology to convey your humanity by creating emotional connections with patients, it works, and I want to help you. This can be working for you 24 by 7, 365, even as you're sleeping or serving other patients. So here we go, one more time in rapid fire order, the five online shifts your practice needs to make so people will love you before you meet. Shift number one, stop talking about yourself and shift your focus on the patient. Shift number two, never leer at women. Shift number three, differentiating versus discounting. Shift number four, light up online. And shift number five, put patients at ease with simple explanations. If you implement these five fundamental shifts, you'll see your practice transform right before your eyes. And if you're a do-it-yourself kind of plastic surgeon, you can take everything we've given you here in this webinar and run with it. If you do that, I wish you nothing but the best and all the success in the world. But if you'd like some help, it would be my honor and my privilege to speak with you. This is what I love to do. This is what gets me excited, and this is what gets me out of bed every single morning. Well, we mentioned at the top of the webinar that we'd be taking all of the notes for you, and if you'd like a PDF summary of what we talked about here in the webinar, simply enter your email address on the page that follows at the conclusion of this webinar, and we'll get those right out to you. Finally, if you're interested in working with me, let's talk. Let's see if it's a fit. You can set up a free consult via my calendar on my website at marktenet.net, or you can email me mark at marktenet.net. That's mark at marktenet.net, and we'll set up a date and time. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot out of it. So let's talk. You can stop burning money online and start making money by using technology and creating emotional connections with patients. I can help. Let's get on the phone and chat. Head over now to marktenet.net to schedule your free consult, or you can email me at mark at marktenet.net. That's mark at marktenet.net, and I look forward to speaking with you very soon.